All right, what's going on, everybody? Uh, Al King here. I'm actually in my church. This is uh, um, somewhere um, that I, you know, I come to just just about five days a week, and I'm gonna kind of get 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 up and walk around for a moment because there's a couple things I want you guys to see. And hopefully, there's enough daylight for you guys to actually see this. This, this is the church where I grew up at, you guys. And uh, you know, in fact, I'll show you something really quickly while I'm. Trying to do stuff, uh, you guys can see where my finger's pointing. Bam. That's my grandmother, rest in peace. She used to be an usher here at this church. This is a family church. A lot of people uh, I've grown up with uh, and known throughout my, my, my life are from this uh, church. I'm going to show you guys where we're at here for a moment. Let's see what's happening out here. Alright, some guys may be able to see where we're at, some guys may not be able to see where we're at. I'm going to show you guys, it's kind of important. It's nighttime. Yeah, you know, I should have probably came out here a little, little bit earlier. You might hear some arguing in the background. We're here in the hood. <laughs> right here in Watts, you guys, right here across the street from Nickerson Gardens. And, uh, you know, I, I, I come here every day, you guys, five days a week, um, as, as I was saying. And one of the missions I've always had, one of the things I've always wanted to do uh, since I first got into business ownership for myself and first got into network marketing, uh, one of my very first goals, I still remember clear as day because it's a real goal of mine, um, was to be able to help my church. And I'll show you guys in just a brief one. It's dark, so you can't see in here. But uh, turn the lights real quick for you guys. Let's see what's going on in here. So you guys see this is an actual church, right? All right, actually in the church. Just so you guys can see where I'm, where I'm at here. Um, and so this is a church that you know, like I said, this is my family's church. You know, we've been here for 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 for, for my entire life. And one of the reasons that um, I got into business was primarily a revelation that I came to after coming home from, from college. And, you know, I, I share this story from time to time, you guys. Um, it was in college that I first figured out why there's a wealth gap between my people, black people, and just about everybody else, Okay. Um, it was in college that I began to meet uh, people of other races and find out what, what, what their parents did <laughs> versus what many of my friends who were black in college, what their parents did. And it was a common theme. It was a pattern that was e emerging. And that's um, something that's so important in life to be able to spot patterns, to pay attention to patterns. Patterns. Um, are usually a message that speaks to people individually, and you might notice a pattern in, in your 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 life. Something's trying to get your attention when you see a pattern, and this this was a pattern that I noticed that black people didn't own businesses. Well, I mean, my white friends had a lot of money; they own businesses. Their uncle and aunts own businesses. You know, their friends owned businesses, so they were passing on wealth. They had guaranteed jobs when they left college. They had summer jobs. They, they, they had ways to get money wired to them. Things that a lot of me and my black friends just didn't have. So when I came home from college, one of the things I wanted to do is start a business. And I backed in network marketing. And this is a story I tell all the time, guys. That's sort of how I even got interested in network marketing. You know, I didn't take it seriously the first time I was ever introduced to it because I wasn't in the right mindset. Timing is everything. But after I came home, I thought about it. I was like, okay, you know what? Yeah, we need to have a black-owned family business to start changing some of the direction of things that are happening in this family. And so we be, 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 began that journey, myself, my mother, and my sister. And several years later, you, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know, here we, we, we are today. And we're working on something special, you know, because it's always been about our people. And if you're looking at the title, you probably know that this is about the black folder and what that's really about. 
And, you know, I'm going to be clear about this, you guys. You know, nobody says anything when, uh, when other races do business with each other. Okay, this is a well-known thing. There are plenty of races in America who do business with e each other. And it's not racist. Um, it's economic. It's intelligent. It is for the benefit of their race. It helps them have money and have resources. It creates opportunity for their people. And that's the one thing that black folks don't have. And what we're really doing here, you guys, is picking up the torch. You know, the, the next part of Dr. King's civil rights movement was the economic empowerment of black people. And the economic of black people is achievable, uh, the economic empowerment of black people is achievable today more now than ever before through the network marketing industry. You see, we as black people must build up our networks and our networks must be strong. We must be loyal to one another. See, once we put those networks in place, wealth can begin flowing. Economic opportunities can begin flowing. But these things are on the back end. What's first and foremost, most important is building our networks. And I think the network marketing industry is a blessing. But for me, the very first network marketing company I ever saw was $500 in order to join. And that was the primary problem that me and other black folks had is we struggled finding other black people that had that type of income. And there's a subject that is seldom spoke on in our industry, and I'll just go ahead and put it out there. You know, several will sound all oh, that's nonsense, but I really don't care what you have to say. There are too many of us who experience it that know it's true. There are several non-black people who refuse to do business with black people. This is a truth. This is a fact. Some of you may deny it. Again, I don't care. It doesn't matter. What matters, however, is that black people start understanding what is happening and that we take it serious to do business with one another, especially in the MLM industry. And we've talked about, we have several videos that speak on the problem with MLM today is with so many companies, we as network marketers are spread too thin, and especially those of us who are African-American. We're just in too many companies, and that's not really a problem. What the problem is, is we don't have anything in common. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're inviting you to be a part of, to be a part of our black folder, part of our system, our MLM system to unite the industry and specifically to build a network within this industry that is, uh, that is dedicated and, and focused on the overall goal of helping our people, providing opportunities for our people, providing jobs for our people. Look, if me and 10 other people, we, 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 we don't need everybody. If me and 10 other black people get to, to, uh, together and create success for ourselves, and we're pulling in a million dollars a month, that's $10 million between all 10 of us. What can't we do with our money? We can put $100,000 aside, 10 of us, $100,000 aside, that's a million dollars aside every single month that we could pull together to create all sorts of positive things within our communities, be they banks, be they schools, it really doesn't matter, you guys. But we can't even get there until we do the other stuff first. So... What we've done with our one MLM system is we've made it affordable to build a network. You don't have to spend money to build your, your network. Okay, at least not at first. Eventually, we will want to invest and reinvest and grow and reinvest. But, but, but at first, we don't have to worry about that. We've removed that barrier so nobody has to focus on, ah, I don't have the money. But while we're talking about that, there are things and concepts that we as black people need to be exposed to, such as our thinking. We need to think differently about investing. You know, m m many of us don't mind running out to buy the new pair of Jordans. But when it comes to a business, oh, now we can't find the money, right? We'll go out and spend money on things that we don't need and can't afford, but the one things we need to, to invest in that we can afford, we'll find all types of excuses for why we won't do it. So we want to cut that out within our network as we grow it, and we want to encourage more of us to reach out and bring others into to, to the uh, fold and start exposing one another to the concepts and the ideas that are available in the network marketing industry. Positive 
ideas that will benefit each and every single one of us who tap into what's available. And then we have to understand that many of us might live in very negative environments because this is the culture that was given to us. And many of the things that are on the media, you know, the, the entertainment culture, these things are being fed to us in order to keep us where we are. See, modern day racism and modern day oppression isn't like it used to be in the 50s. You know, now we have the illusion of freedom. Right? We, we, we choose to buy these things. We, we choose to listen to this music, or at least that's how we feel about it. The, the, the truth is, we can now choose to do things that are more positive for ourselves, but some of us just need to be told about it. There are so many of us that haven't even been told about a, a, a another way or an alternative way to make money. We need to hear about it. There are so many of us that are falling victim to, to crime. And there are so many of us that can help those of, of us who are out here who have fallen victim to these things because, frankly, we're the only ones that care about our people. And so it's time for us to come together, and that's what our black folder is all about. We're not against other races working with, with us, but that's what the rest of the 1MLM system is, is, is all about. The black folder focuses directly on our people and what our people need. And again, you know, we're not turning anybody away, but I'm going to tell you right now, we're not asking for opinions from those who are not black on how to help black people. Right? right now, we need black people to come together to help black people. If you're not black, you know, again, you're more than welcome to be part of our team. Because ultimately, we do need everybody. Ultimately, um, healing America and healing some of the issues that we have in our country and in our nation will require bringing all races together eventually. But right now, what's most pressing is to get black people on their feet, to, to get black people off of uh, some of the programs and the issues and, 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 and the challenges that many of us are facing as uh, the direct result of being the descendants of slaves, of being the descendants of a race of people who were oppressed and not allowed to read and not allowed to have education and not allowed to have equal access to opportunity. Well, now all those barriers are removed, but there are still the mental barriers and most importantly, you guys, the economic barriers, right? And we have a way, we, 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 we have a solution to address that to today. Join up with, with us, you guys. We'll see you on the inside. Thank you for watching Top Networkers Group presents the Black Folder. Stay tuned for much more. See you at the top, you guys.